Hey everybody, it's Mikey Bizan. In this video, I'm going to be drawing the Pokemon Charmander. The first tool I'll be using is a mechanical pencil. And just starting out with light strokes, we'll draw in his eye near the top of the page. One oval for the light, and a larger oval underneath the light for his pupil. And above his eye, just a mark for his brow. Now his head is the shape of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll just start lightly sketching in the proportions of his face and the guidelines for where his other eye will go. This eye will be a little bit wider since it's facing us more directly. Now as you sketch in the parts of his face, again, start out soft with not too much pressure and then go over the lines with more pressure to uh, make it darker. Now these are the guidelines for where his cheeks will stick out. The bottom of his face is a bit wider than the top of his head. So we'll start adding in some darker lines. Now his mouth stretches across his face from one eye to the other. He has a very wide mouth and his little teeth go right underneath the top of his mouth. The bottom part of his mouth just curves underneath and his bottom teeth are about half as big as his top teeth. And Charmander has tiny little nostrils. So add those in. Now I'll start drawing a circle and connect that circle to his neck. Then two arcs for his arms with circles on each end. Now his legs are chubby little circles. We'll start adding in the more defined lines over these rough shapes. Three little toes at the bottom. Now as I add in the rest of his body, I'm gradually applying more pressure over these rough guidelines and erasing unnecessary lines. So it's okay if the first lines you draw aren't perfect. As long as you're drawing pretty light, you can easily adjust it. And the darker, more defined lines you add will have more accuracy if, if you're drawing over your light guidelines. So start out light and add more darkness gradually. Now I'm kind of sketching back and forth. I'm not just using one long stroke. You see my hand going back and forth because it's easier to have more accuracy if you're working with little bits at a time as opposed to just trying to draw everything in one big long stroke. So his tail just connects to the bottom of his body like an arc. The shape of his tail curves into his stump tummy and his fire is drawn over this oval that I use as a guideline. Now the fire can be pretty much any shape that fire is typically in, so you can be creative with his, the fire on his tail. And if you're going to add shading, keep in mind that his fiery tail is a light source, so I'm going to add the shadows on the opposite side of his body. The remainder of the video will be a time lapse of him being colored, and if you have any Suggestions for future characters to draw, please let me know in the comments below.